Hello and uh, welcome friends. Welcome to another unboxing video. This time I have a quite quite large bag. I'm sorry, here is uh, the address. I will start opening this box. I have here uh, this little pocket knife and I think that this small blade will help me a lot. So I will start by removing the address of this pack. Okay. And as you can see, it is a large, large, large pack. Let me start by this side. Okay, like this. And I will try now this part, this side this okay guys let me see if I can gently open one side of it yes this is a quite quite interesting box and you will see its content I'm just trying to open it as good as I can you already, already see a part of the item. Let me see now. Okay. So, this contains those bags. Okay. And this bags. And it contains a vintage, vintage object used in schools for uh, measuring, uh, and this is quite, quite an old one. It, you, you can see it by the wood. Let me put it aside because I want to show you the other content of the box. So this. I will leave aside, this aside, this aside. This is another piece of the box. I will leave also this aside. Okay. And I have some old, old newspapers included in uh, this pack. And of course, this I believe it is um, another part of um, that box. So as you can see, the box is empty right now. And let me, let me take it out of the picture, guys. And let me show you the beautiful, beautiful, and quite old. It has no, no imprints on it. So I'm not so sure about its provenance or something like that. But it's definitely an ancient, ancient instrument that was used for making um, some calculus or arithmetics I believe I will also show you the content of the old newspapers maybe we will we'll find some interesting articles but first of all I'm uh, going to change the angle of the camera 
So this is the new angle of the camera. Let me put this like this. Okay, on uh, my desk. And let me show you the other item. The other item. So, in case you don't know what this is, this is a tissue that was used to um, to take out the excess ink. So when you wrote something with your pen or did a signature, there were often uh, excess of ink. And by using this like this, pushing it like this, the excess of the ink remained on this paper, special paper, and uh, uh, the letter was uh, left alone. What is special about this tool is this aspect right here. It was made by Shoneken and it has also a number 737. So, it was made by my favorite German manufacturer, Schoenaken, that uh, closed this business in uh, the early 1960s. I'm not so sure about the year of manufacture of uh, this item. It um, definitely has seen better days. I think that this are some reserve papers that came with it and by the way guys i also have its uh, let's say matching uh, office instrument which was also manufactured by shoneken and i will show it to you in a minute and it matches this little instrument which you can see Sean again, born, and another number, 2318. So, this one, and this one. They appear to be from the same period. They are quite, quite official in this... Um, serious looking uh, black color uh, i am quite a fan of the shonakam brand and when i can uh, see different ephemeria with shonakam i often buy them probably that you know if you watch my channel one of the best, best finds of 2020, I believe. 2021 was this beautiful, beautiful Sean again extra 111 this wonderful wonderful piece so i fell in love with this brand i often when i found when i find a brand that uh, is uh, no longer in production i tend to gather as many items as i can from for that brand and remember guys I also won uh, uh, this uh, old, old paper. I'm not so sure the year. Oh, it's a nice year. Look at it. It is San Sunday, 16th of April, 1933. Quite, quite nice, quite, quite nice. Mm. Maybe I have the time to show you the content. So this is content. 
It's about a funeral. Wow. Nice, nice. So this author here, Cezar Petrescu, is a well-known Romanian author. And I believe it was... Um, uh, he was writing for this paper. Maybe in this period it was the director of this paper. I'm not so sure. Quite, quite nice. And I have another piece. So, this is from 1937. And... Uh, Quite, quite nice, quite, quite nice. You can see some, uh, some parts, interesting parts of um, paper. So this is from a magazine called Adevărul literal și artistic. The artistic and literal truth. <laughs> I'm not so sure how to translate it in English. So quite, quite nice, guys. I like to... to... to read this old newspaper. So this is from 1930 seven or so with a headline here the military year of 1936 so this is a few years before the start of the second world war quite quite interesting and this is another another um, leaflet this time from 1929 with the director Tudor Arghese which is a well-known um, author Romanian author quite quite nice so nice piece of papers from the interwar so between the end of the World War One and the beginning of the World War II. Guys, what it is amazing about these products, of course not these products, but all the newspapers that you can see here, and um, this old school item, which I find fascinating. So guys, I paid only uh, 10 euros, or around 13 American dollars. So I bought them at an amazing price, including uh, the shipment. You saw that big, large pack that was delivered to my doorstep. Maybe you can't see the relevance to this channel, but uh, this Shonaken, I showed you the importance in the fountain pen industry. And this is a quite, quite useful item for the school uh, people back then you know that uh, my long time project is to develop a museum of the fountain pen and of course the fountain pen should be integrated in a whole let's say school universe because they were primarily used by school people but uh, back uh, in the early 20th century, um, they were uh, used by uh, lawyers. And uh, practically, this was the main, main writing instrument in that period of time. Of course, the, uh, um, uh, since 1940, with uh, the development of the ballpoint pen, uh, it was a revolution because the ballpoint pen could be more, um, industrially produced in large numbers 
and at decent, decent prices. So the writing instruments became more available for different masses of people. Yes, those items will be part of the great collection. And when I find them at such a good prices, uh, I can't refuse them. So guys, this was my unboxing, an, an unusual unboxing. I'm sorry for those of you who thought they will see fountain pens. Well, I've shown you a beautiful fountain pen. I hope you will forgive me from for this. I want to wish you a wonderful day, guys. Uh, you know that I recently returned from the hospital. My voice is uh, recovering and um, I will try to deliver as much more content as I can till the beginning of the new year. What can I say, guys? Please take care of yourself in this pandemic time. Stay indoors when you can, and when you go out there, protect yourself and your loved ones. God bless you all, and I will see you again on the next episode. Bye-bye.